And, you know, we got Damon Jones in now and into the uh, competition, Capono. This stage is a little bit different when you by yourself, Reggie, as you know, Absolutely. with no one else on the court Absolutely. but you. Because you miss two or three, you start feeling the weight of the pressure for making a shot. That's a great point. In the first round, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of anticipation. Well, I think the favorite two are Dirk and Gilbert because they don't. It, it, it doesn't take them that much effort to really get it up. So watch out for those two. Well, here's Jason oh, Capone. Oh he goodness. right now is the number one three-point shooter in the NBA for the Miami Heat. He's Come on, nervous. he's got to represent UCLA a little bit better than this. He's nervous. This is different, man. You know, you miss two or three, you start off. But he's looking good on the second rack, though. But you catch your rhythm and watch out. Got That's the money strong. ball right there. That's worth two points. He doesn't seem nervous. He seems very confident. Look at him. Even though Capono has been in the NBA a few short years, he is the all-time percentage leader in NBA history in three-point shooting. That was a great rack for him right there. He made all, all the balls. He's feeling more comfortable. You know what? It's, it's a lot easier to shoot, too, when Dwayne Wade and Shaq is on the court. He needed that one right there. See, he doesn't get him off quick enough, I don't think. But, but no, he's going to get them all. He's going to get them all. This is a good first round. It puts the pressure on everybody. Not bad. 19. 19 is a good number. That's a great number. That's his teammate right there, Shaquille O'Neal, with some help from the sideline. And his other teammate, Alonzo Mourning. Well, he got off to a, a nervous and shaky start, but once he got to the top, I thought he kind of settled down and really got his legs underneath him. He is taking his time, like Kenny said, but I think he needed to do that to kind of get some consistency going. Yeah, but Magic, I don't think you want to get to their last rack having to rush. And that's what he had to do. And he, in the last rack, he only made two balls, and I think because he was rushing as he was in rack one. But remember, first time for him, so he didn't know really how to pace himself. So, Good point. Good so point. you know, uh, rookies usually have to <laughs> on the job learning in a sense. You're right, you're right. So at one point, Capono hits eight consecutive shots. You see what he did in the finalist for the Foot Locker three-point shootout. Jason Capono, the defending champion, Nowitzki, and Gilbert Arenas, who had 23. Just as a note, the highest score in a final round was Mark Price with 24 back in 1994. You know, and he's one of the point guards that has kind of forgotten lately. You know, everyone talks about Steve Nash in pick and roll. Mark Price was pretty good in pick and pretty roll. Pretty good. Pretty good? Right. He's never mentioned him with John Stockton and now is Steve Nash. Oh, he's, he looks like he's a little warm now. Capono. He, he kind of twists twist his arm like you do, Reggie. Like, he doesn't have, a, like, a, a pure elbow locked in. He kind of turns his arms in. The UCLA thing. He gets the seams lined up, though, Reg. You know, a lot of shooters don't do that anymore, do they? No, they just pick the basketball up and shoot it. I've always felt that if you can kind of shoot with the seams, it kind of helps you out, kind of guides you a little bit. Let's see if he can hit three money balls in a row. This will be the third one. Well, he's putting up a good run. Yeah, and he's warm. And I've always thought in the final round, because I was in the finals twice and had to go second. If you can kind of go early and set the benchmark, Look at this. it's to your advantage. And that's Look exactly what he's doing right now. Capono. He can really put pressure if he can get three or four out of this with the money ball. Wow. That's going to be a lot of pressure. He's, he's getting it done right now. And this worth two to get 24. Everything. He has just wow. tied the all-time final round mark of Mark Price of 24. He had all five money balls. Wow. Most important thing is to hit those money balls. And Kevin, you gave him good luck by saying Mark Price 24, and he came out and did it. You know what he you know what the funny thing is now? We might see history. Because to win, you've got to do history. You've got to get Craig Hodges. Nice point. And we know what Craig Hodges has done to get history right now. Well, wow. I'll tell you what, there are two shooters remaining that can do it. We know Gilbert can get hot. He can get hot. And we know the defending champion, Dirk Nowitzki, can get hot, get even hotter as well. It's a wrap. There's a new champ. New champ in the building. This is turning out to be a Miami Heat sweep so far. Dwayne Wade yep. in the You're skills. Right. Jason Capono. Uh-oh. One-handed. Yeah, you gotta go to it now.
So he said, I'm going to be a showman yeah. if I can't be the winner. Well, you know this is on YouTube. Him and Deshaun Stevenson having a shootout one, one hand, hand. And he he, can't and he, beat him. And he won. So he beat him with one hand, and he shot with two. Your champion in the Foot Locker three-point shootout, Miami Heat. Chasing Capono with 24. It ties the all-time final round mark at 24 for Mark Price in 1994. And Capono, who knocked down five money balls, joins Dwayne Wade as the two winners from Miami so far. Uh, just, just great. I, I tell you, when I saw him on t TV, Kevin, campaigning, hey, I should be yep. in it. I want to be in it. Is anybody out here listening to me? Because <laughs> I deserve to be in the uh, three-point shooting contest. And for him to come and put on a show like this, 19 the first round, and then, like you said, when you you fed him a good assist, Kevin, and when you talked about the 24 and he came out and hit 24, what an amazing uh, young man. You were camp campaigning so hard to get invited to this competition. First and foremost, what advice did you get from your teammate Shaq and Dwayne Wade? Well, from Shaq, uh, I basically uh, didn't get much. You know, he's a 46 <laughs> percent free throw shooter not nah, I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I'm just kidding <laughs> big fella big fella he's not that great of a free throw shooter but he's a tremendous three-point shooter so uh you know like he just tells me to leave it on the follow-through so you know he spent a lot of time with me anything from Dwayne Wade uh Dwayne was just telling me to go get it uh he told me that uh, obviously he won like the skills uh, challenge last year so uh you know it was the whole heat staff you know he coaches players and all that you know like they put a lot of time into this and uh, i'm just glad that i came out with the victory now you went to ucla someone sitting at the table went to ucla my brother reggie what is it about the ucla three-point connection i don't know i guess it's just in the uh in the jeans there <laughs> in the water so uh, i'm just glad that i just got a chance to come out here and uh, obviously i am thrilled to win all right here to present the trophy to Jason Capono, winner of our 2007 Foot Locker three-point shootout is Rick Mina, President and CEO, Foot Locker Inc. USA. Congratulations, Jason. So Jason Capono, for the two rounds, hit 35 of 50. He hit 70% of his shots. And he uh, ties the all-time number of 24 in a final round. What a great Foot Locker three-point shootout. Won by the Miami Heat, Chasing Capono. All-Star Saturday on TNT.